thank you for joining me on this week's Empowered Living. I'm here with my first guest ever. It's my beautiful and lovely wife, Kendall. She's Hello. also the worship leader at our church. And so I just want to bring some encouragement to you. There's a story in Numbers chapter 21. When the Israelites were leaving Mount Or by the way of the Red Sea, and it says that they were headed to the, the land of Edom, and the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way that they had to go. And in the middle of that discouragement, they began to complain, and, and therefore they were afflicted by these fiery serpents, and many were dying because of it. And Moses interceded like he often did for the people. And the Lord had to make a brass serpent. And it came to pass that when he held up the brass serpent, whoever would behold the brass serpent, they, they would be saved. And then it tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, it says this, But we all, that's you and I, because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit of God. We are his dwelling place. So we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory as by the Spirit of the Lord. I want to encourage you in this time. I listened to something yesterday and it struck me, and this was a statement that was made. The statement that was made was, we shouldn't come out of this trial, we shouldn't come out of this, this phase in our lives, something that no one I've ever talked to has ever experienced before in their life, no matter how old they are, the same. I encourage you in this time to Behold the Lamb. You know, as the Israelites had to look at the brass serpent and they were saved, that is a type for Jesus to come because He was lifted up. We're to lift up Christ. He was put on the cross for all to see. Are we beholding Him? Are we taking time now? I know it's difficult. I know it's tough. But there's still only one answer, and the answer is Jesus. Are we taking now the time to be changed from glory to glory in this present circumstance. I know we're limited on what we can do and most things over video and it's hard to connect with people, but the Spirit of the Lord, He is everywhere and He is in all of us, those who believe. And if you don't believe and you don't know Him, you can have Him today by receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Are we going to take the time to behold Him? So we're going to bring you a song to encourage you in this time to just sit before the Lord and to host His presence. And so as we worship, I invite you to worship along with us and just, to, to just really seek His face in this time. We should not come through this time the same. We should be changed. We should be different. We should be inviting the Lord to light us on fire, to go forth boldly, proclaiming Jesus as the answer, the same He is today as He has ever been and ever will be. I hope this blesses you. Caught up in your presence.
Heavenly Father, I just thank you for your word, God. I just pray by your spirit, all those who are watching or listening, God. Just help us to behold in you, to allow you to spotlight on our lives those things you're desiring to change through this time, Lord God, that we would change from glory to glory, from faith to faith, God, as we behold you, the Lamb, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.